Today in my robotics class, we are finishing up another project that we are trying for the first time this semester. It is a project that they have to use all of the sensors in some capacity. They have a touch sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, which measures distance, a color sensor, the gyro sensor, which is able to tell how many degrees the robot has turned. I think that's it. And today they're gonna finish it up. We're gonna check each other's projects out. And some students are working really hard and have been coming into office hours so they can get their project done on time. Way to go, Henry. Thank you. And I'm excited about this project because there's actually quite a bit of variety in the projects that they're doing. So every student came in during office hours today, so I'm gonna go ahead and give an extension. They're gonna get half of the class period today to finish it, and then we're gonna showcase and see each other's project on the second half of class today. <laughs> What do you still have to do? It works sometimes. This is tape. But one. most of the time it doesn't work. What are you gonna be oh, doing? Oh, oh, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. But I can't give any way, any information away because then you won't see how it works. Okay, I'll check in later. I'm building an obstacle course. Start here, turn 90 degrees, and that uses the gyro sensor. Here it's gonna use the color sensor. The wall here, use the touch sensor there. That's what I have so far. Oh. So my robot's gonna guess who they are based on a series of yes or no questions. So I haven't actually tested it out on them yet. Two, one, hello, we're here. Uh, hello, okay. I'm using uh, three sensors, the touch sensor, ultrasonic, and color sensor, and my bot will be able to, my bot will be inside this rectangle after the, uh, the course. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming that was the ultrasonic there? Yeah. Oh, we'll touch. <laughs> it's in an endless loop. So I built a robot that could be able to use four sensors. The touch sensor is going to start the program. The color sensor is going to tell the NXT to stop when it's in the box. And the ultrasonic is going to tell it when to turn. Hello, can you help me find the cheesy poofs? No. Well, too bad. Yay. Nice. Yes. 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 So originally I wanted to go through this obstacle course on a linear path, but I had to alter it because the robot was too big. It's gonna sense this turn. It'll be able to sense the distance. It's about 12 centimeters. It'll sense that turn, come this way, hits this with the touch sensor, and hopefully go through here. It Okay, so it's reading it. Badge it, you can. Okay, so we got it. Did you touch sensor? Oh! Oh, oh. Still made it! Yeah. Yeah. The color sensor is for the treat, so it knows that it's the treats. This is to start the program, you put your hand over it, and then um, the touch sensor is to make them sit. What does it say? Put your hand over my head eyes to begin, because it's your head eyes. eyes. Can okay. I have a treat, yes or no? No. If you press no, it just doesn't do the program. You have to press yes, and then it says, can you show me my treat? And you put that there, and then it says, if you want me to sit, pull my tail. <laughs> and then it says feed me and put the tree up to his face. Oh, he's got his mouth open. And then he barks. Wait, how Very does he bark? Cool. He when you hit the play button, you're gonna put this yellow thing in front of the color sensor. That'll make it go. The ultrasonic sensor will sense how far away it is. The gyro sensor to turn. Use the ultrasonic again. Use the gyro again to turn it. And then you hit the touch sensor. Start! Your engine! It normally is Oh, it didn't work. Mm. 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 Okay. You have to do is it, is it it supposed to push. sense? So it hit the touch button, which played that song thing. <laughs> hit that one, and then it says congrats and lights up orange. Nice. Oh, no, wait. Oh. Oops. My robot is going to guess who's holding it. Was it say? Read it out loud? No! Touch sensor to start. 
Oh, okay, yeah. I'd like to guess who you are. You have black, brown hair, put that up. Blonde hair, this up. Black hair, this up. What if you have blue hair? Are you over 5'3"? Left, yes. Right, no. Yeah, you're oh. over. How was it say? Does your name start with a D? Yeah. Yes. Look into my eyes. His eyes are right there. You can pick them up. Closer. Oh, hey. What does it say? Hi, Devin. It says, can I hi, Devin. Hi. Close your hair. Are you over 5'3"? Oh, I did that one again. Hi, Henry. Ah. Oh, are you over 5'3"? Dang it. I keep thinking it's black. Just start thinking. Close your hair. What does it say? Dang it. All right. Did not exceed expectations. Stop. Yeah. We're taking it off the sensor. I'll be using the gyro sensor to turn, pet sensor to start and finish, other sensor to move on, ultrasonic sensor to make the first turn. Okay, so it says press touch sensor to play. Is it's 9 time. to the second power BD2. Everyone Ready? says no? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah! Okay, we're moving forward. Move so it says forward. there's something nearby. Hello. <laughs> what do I do with this? So, it's gonna turn. I'm gonna nudge it. It's gonna oh. turn. Is he guiding to the treasure? Yep. Well, look, I can see Okay, so now it's gonna say there's something nearby. This <laughs> better be it. Open it, look it. Okay, open it. Who has the key? Open I don't know Come on, Henry. It only the paper. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. We're not gonna get it. Oh, it did turn around though. So this is my robot. It was supposed to have three things that look like this, kind of. They would be covered up by like a wheel. These would spin like that. And if this was in the middle, it would say, good job, you won. I didn't finish my code because it was really hard. What would you have done next? Came up with a new design because <laughs> these are too close to each other. I feel like maybe a few more days would have been helpful. I did extend it originally from the original due date, which was like last week. And I gave him an extension of uh, uh, of when their actual blog would be due, where they put a screenshot of their code, say what they did, problems that they came up against. A lot of them did come to office hours and were working on it outside of class and putting a lot of effort into it. Some of them were just a little bit more ambitious than the time would give. Not bad, I guess, for a first shot on an all sensor project. While I was editing, I realized that I didn't actually mention that several of the students gave positive feedback about the time constraints because they said it kind of helped them focus a little bit more and get more done in the given time. We have SumoBots coming up next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.